Hey guys, Bob for Bob's Movie Review here, and today I want to review for you a movie I just watched, The Babadook. I did an unboxing of this, I'll put a link to that annotation on the screen. This is a special edition, I'm kind of curious how limited this is going to be, because I only saw a couple copies, and it says limited print. Um, so if you guys have any stories about finding this, or you search forever to find it, I'd love to hear them. If you guys just pick it up right away, I'd love to hear that too. I'm a little confused on this movie exactly. Um, people, are, Some people are really liking this movie. It's at a 98% on Rotten Tomatoes, certified fresh. 75% of the audience liked it. Average user rating of 3.8 out of 5. And an average critic rating of 8.2 out of 10. Is it just me or is that extremely high? Um, IMDB average rating of 6.9 from 52,678 users. So there's a lot of people really liking this, and uh, I hadn't heard of it. Um, I saw the trailer, and I was like, you know, that looks kind of interesting. It's kind of a dark horror. It kind of reminded me of that movie, The Boogeyman. Um, if you guys have seen that, maybe I'll just put a picture up of that real quick so you guys can see what I'm talking about if you're not familiar with it. Anyways, this movie is not rated, 93 minute runtime, and definitely a horror movie. Starring Essie Davis and Daniel Henshaw. <laughs> so it's about this mother who's a single mother and her kid who's kind of like obsessed with monsters. And to make things even worse, every single night before he goes to bed she reads him a story about a monster. Like if your kid was totally obsessed with monsters, he, he's like making weapons to kill monsters. You know, he's not sleeping, he's getting in trouble in school. And what does she do? She reads him a story about the big bad wolf, you know, and and Babadook. And, and that's kind of one complaint I have about this case. Um, here it's called The Babadook, and the title is on the bottom. In the movie it was called Mr. Babadook, and it was on top. I just don't understand why, if this is supposed to be a representation of that, why is it not the same? Kind of annoys me. And I honestly, I, I don't remember, was this even in the book? I don't remember that being in the book, but I was having trouble concentrating at some points. Um, so, basically, they want him to have a, somebody there with him all day in school, and she's, she doesn't want it. She takes him out of school, and then it's revealed that his father died um, the day he was born, and, and she's just kind of lost it since that point. And just one day, uh, she doesn't. She's not sure where it came from, but they don't. They don't really get into it. Just this book kind of shows up, uh, Mr. Babadook, and she reads it to him. And it's just kind of about this I don't know, monster. I'm not sure exactly what it was. A monster, of course. Another monster story. Yeah. <laughs> Wonder why your kid's so messed up, you know? <laughs> and um, so she, she she's trying to get him over this monster thing. And she's like now skipping work and he's fighting with his cousin. You know, he's he's like a brat and you're like, oh, you just want to strangle him. <laughs> and um, so then, like this is forever. Nothing happens in this movie forever. It's just a lady and her kid. And you're, I was bored. I was so bored. You're just like, is anything ever going to happen in this movie? Like, what is the deal? He's just like, he's just like, it's the Babadook. Don't let him in. Don't let him in. And like something please happen please let something happen <laughs> and so it finally gets to the monster or whatever I don't even get it honestly I don't have any clue what happened in this movie it's so confusing um, I'm pretty sure she was possessed at one point but there there's no real like oh she's possessed now she's not possessed now this is how she got possessed this is why she isn't possessed like, I, I just don't even get it I don't get this movie at all and I, I really, I didn't like it. I thought it was too slow and boring, nothing happening through most of the movie. And when it finally does, it's totally not worth it. And I just, I didn't care for this movie, guys. Uh, if you loved it, I'm sorry. But to be honest, give you guys my honest opinion. Uh, for score on this, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 10. Because it did have some interesting elements. But too long to get there. And... I find myself just wanting it to be over and happy that it was finally over. 
Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a thumbs up if you haven't already. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys next time. Noah, if you're interested, Cruise. be sure to subscribe on YouTube, follow on Facebook, follow on Twitter, and follow on Instagram.